What's up, what's up, everybody? I gotta be a little quiet because I'm not the only one in the house right now, but today is a day that we are leaving to go on the cruise. Y'all, I'm so, so excited. Um, if you are new here, hey, friend. If you've been here before, hey, friend. I'm so excited to vlog this because this is my very, very, very first cruise. Um, I'm really excited, y'all. Um, but I'm just gonna update y'all like hourly or every two hours just so I can enjoy myself um, but also like tell y'all about like me having fun as well and showing y'all what I'm doing. So we're about to leave. We're in a little bit of a rush. Um, I got my Starbucks. I just need to grab a few more things and uh, a couple other people just got to get ready and then we're going to be good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and dive right into this vlog y'all. Let's go. Right, y'all. So we in Galveston. I got my bonnet on, my do rag on. I was so uncomfortable. The hair is like weighing on the back of my neck, so it's a tad bit uncomfortable when I'm trying to like just sit normally. But we're about to go to Chick Fil A, so I'm gonna have to call y'all later because I don't know if they're playing music in here. I'll be right back. so we just made it to like the place where we're gonna take the bus to go to the boat and we just unpacked all of our stuff from the car I'm happy I got this sun hat because girl my forehead is it's shiny up under here but it definitely would have been beaming if I didn't have it on so we finna get on the but we finna load up and I'm gonna have to talk to y'all later child it's hot my backpack heavy girl my phone is everything I'm finna get real sweaty it's hot child so I'm gonna have to call y'all back okay okay Y'all, we're on the bus. This is Bree. Okay. My mom is back there. And then I have my sister and her boyfriend are right here. And then my brother's in the back. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. At this point, I was scared because it was becoming a reality to me that I'm finna get on this big ass boat. All right, y'all. So right now we're in the line to like check in. We already showed our boarding passes. It is so hot. My skin looks good though, but it's hot. Um, so there's Penn, that's my younger brother. And then we have Ryan, and then we have my sister, and then we have my mom, that's my mom, and then that's Brie back there. So we're just waiting to get on. It is a really long line, and for a minute we was out in the heat. We was going through it, and we hope, you know, so if you're going to come on a cruise, I mean, for a first-timer, pack, be, be mindful of how much you pack, because I got my backpack on. I could have gave it, like, so we, there was an area where we could, like, put our, uh, you know, bags and stuff, whatever has a tag on it, so if you got a tag, you can put it on there, and then they'll bring it to your room, so... Um, I could have did that, but I got some stuff in here that I need. I got my portable chargers, chapstick, all of that, uh, Lysol wipes, anything I might need. I didn't feel comfortable giving it up, but I got it packed. There's a lot of stuff in here, so um, I'm going to just have to talk to y'all probably once I get on the boat because I had to unload a bunch of stuff I had in my hands to just come talk to y'all. So y'all know I love y'all. I do anything for y'all because I love y'all. But yeah, so I'm going to talk to y'all once we actually get on the boat or whenever I can have a little more relief with my arms when I can comfortably record. So I'm going to get back with y'all. All right, y'all. So we're in the boarding area. We just waited like an hour in a line to like have our bags ran through like the security thing. And now we came up to the boarding place. Me and Bria are together, but my mom and everybody else is a little further in front of us. So I need to get my boarding pass and stuff just in case I need it. Uh, I don't I don't know what all we need, but yes, yeah, so we finna get on the boat. I have your license. Um, oh you do okay, so Brie has my license and I think my mom has my boarding pass or somewhere in one of these bags. It is she has it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to y'all actually when I get on the boat because girl I'm hungry. And they said it um like the food is free before dinner time so i want some free food i don't want to spend no money today i just want something to eat i really didn't have we didn't have no full meal we just had starbucks drinks and bagels and that's it so i'm gonna call y'all back
out. So we finally on the boat looking for the oh, room. What's ahead? These some narrow hallways. <laughs> There's not a lot of space to walk. It's best for one person. 62, 62, 62, 62. We, was, we, we just walked up some oh flights Lord. of steps. <sighs> it's, it's, but that's okay. What I want now is some food and just to go sit by a pool if there's a pool somewhere. That's it and I'm gonna be good. But I'm gonna show y'all what the room looks like. It's gonna be four. Yeah, over there, blocking. It's gonna be four people to one room. Hey, and y'all, this is, I'm gonna be honest with y'all okay. about my experience. So, we finna go see what we're working with. Finally. We found it. Good, we on the right side. Goodness. So this is our room. Alright. Yeah, I left y'all while I was walking. That's okay. <laughs> we putting that dog on go something. So, All right. What a key. Oh, in. Oh. I was finna say, how, how did, how did, how does yeah, that work? Oh. Small ass beds. Yeah, these small. small. These, these are not even <laughs> twin size beds. Yep. It's four of us, so uh, it's three beds, <laughs> and that one is that's a couch bed. Oh my goodness! Okay, but let's see the view because I think we have a we have a balcony, y'all. This is our balcony. Oh, this, this is our view right now. So here's one chair, a little table, another chair. That's me. Hey, y'all. Um, so I'm about to go see what we can get to eat. Um, I'm not scared of heights y'all so this don't bother me but I'm finna see what we can go get to eat uh, It's a bunch of people that's circulating around chat I done seen people in their swimsuits already so I need to get myself together And I'm gonna call y'all back once I'm getting me something to eat because girl I haven't ate all day If I got that white stuff in, in the corner of my mouth act like you don't see it It's been a long day okay okay I'm gonna call y'all back Right, so we got settled in our room. We like put what we did have in the room. We're just waiting for our luggage and I got some C-bands on. I know y'all probably can't see. I'm gonna see. I don't know if y'all can see but it's a patch behind my ear for motion sickness because we haven't been on the boat that long and I definitely do see how people get motion sick because you can feel the boat kind of rocking under your feet. Uh, but we're about to go meet my sister and her boyfriend. And what else did I want to tell y'all? Oh, I wanted to show y'all like a map of the ship because girl, I'm confused. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. I'm still confused, but all I'm thinking about right now the, uh, is food. It's a lot of the air there. Oh, no, Yeah, it is my butt crack. Sorry, y'all, oh. my mom's in my crack. But this is, this is a oh, lot. Yeah. have to play this y'all i'm gonna come back through here when the casino is open because right now it's closed but i'm gonna come back through here i'm playing it so right now y'all what we're looking for are these things called muster groups something like that i guess it's a little safety training uh, we're kind of also exploring the boat child i done seen people with they drinks some liquor okay and i ain't mad at them so this is in one of like the food areas i don't know if it's just like breakfast lunch and dinner but i did see like a menu and I'm on, we, we had to do the training. So we just finished the training. We just had to watch a video. That's it. But this is what it looks like up here. And then there's a floor up here. Sorry, y'all. I know what I'm focused a little bit. And here are the life jackets. So, oh my goodness. I Y'all, I met a friend. Hello, let me flip it. <laughs> She's so sweet, y'all. She's beautiful. She is so freaking pretty. You're gonna be stuck with me for the next seven oh, days. I love that. I'm okay <laughs> with that. Period, y'all. I don't okay. make a new friend. <laughs> My name is Sayla. I don't really be on TikTok or YouTube, but if you guys wanna follow me, my at on TikTok is Rai Rai Lindsay and R H I R H I L I N D S E Y. And yeah, that's it. She is beautiful and so sweet. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. So we are walking up flights of stairs to go to Guy's Burgers. Um, we're hungry. We haven't really eaten in a while. So we got a bread. We went from floor four to floor 10 and we on floor eight right now. Me and Fluff had to take a little break. But we just want a little something to eat. That's all. I need somebody push. 
I'm out of town, fucking with my ring on. My wood is pink. Y'all is gone. It's gone, child. Mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to do was eat. I ate um, the tea. I got an iced tea. It was nasty. It's unsweet. But there's some lemonade. I just didn't get no lemonade. Now my sister got a drink, a raspberry daiquiri. It's good. You don't taste no look in it. And the straw is edible. It's like candy. So it's like no waste. But so far, so good. I feel good. Uh, I'm a little anxious, but that's all. So we ate, like we finished eating, but well we've been finished eating, but we finished eating, we had a couple of drinks, they had a couple of drinks, the drinks, that's my brother y'all, well y'all know because I told y'all that was him earlier, anyways, but they had some drinks, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, so it was a couple of drinks, my sister got a drink and it tastes like the Flintstones chalky vitamins, it tasted funny, and then her boyfriend got a drink and he said it was watery, so I tasted it, it was pina colada, it tastes like the pina colada is in the room, but the alcohol, it doesn't taste like it has alcohol in it. It tastes like water, water, like a, a, slu a pina colada slushy with, with ice blended into it, like triple ice. That's what it tastes like. But we are kind of like, the casino and stuff, not, like certain things are not open, but um, I told y'all, listen, I want to play that game when I go in there. Uh, we are trying to go get some drinks, um, some good drinks. So that's where we're going to go next. Great y'all so we're back in the room we were trying to get some daiquiris but the machine broke so we're just gonna try again later i already seen one pile of throw up i don't do throw up i don't like throw up i know people finna be throwing up because seasickness and a bunch of people drinking like we finna be on the boat for like two three days and folks just finna be drinking because they turning up they already getting lit so uh some of the stuff is opening um i really want to go to the casino i have a budget in mind and what is that the silence the mind of the budget is the it's a silence. budget is it set i don't know but there is a i said the budget is in mind i didn't say i know i knew how much i was gonna spend so in my mind budget how much uh, the next minute because i didn't yeah. know but uh i gotta charge y'all so y'all gonna be good all day so i'm just gonna enjoy myself turn up um it's going to be some stuff I do that y'all don't see, and that's okay, because I'm going to report my experience to y'all anyways, but I'm going to call y'all back later. So guess where we at? Child, we are out on the sea. We've been out for over an hour, maybe like an hour and 45 minutes. I just changed my clothes. Got some cute little shorts on because I'm hungry. Again, I want to go get something to eat, and I'm a little thirsty, and I, I need some water. I have not been drinking no water. So we are going to go see if we can find something to eat right now. We need some scissors. I need some scissors, and Bree needs some scissors. She's trying to cut something off her shoes, and I'm trying to cut my other SD card out because I only have a little more than 20 more minutes of recording time on this SD card, so I'm swap them out but let me go inside because i'm not trying to get sick sick all right y'all so right now i'm in the jewelry store and i'm looking at all of this jewelry and i see so many different pieces i like um i actually really like this butterfly I, had to see. I think that this is so cute it was also a necklace but i don't really like the necklace so much i really just like this but i also I really like these two up here at the top. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to get. All right, y'all. We're out and we got drinks. Hold on. Let me show y'all my drinks. I got a strawberry. Look, oh, we're not naked, y'all. I'm not naked. She has a shirt. Oh, there she is. She has a shirt on. Um, we are just kind of drinking around until we eat. We have a steak dinner tonight. So we just wanted to try the drinks. Um, so now that we got our drink. Oh, y'all. I'm trying to think about what I want. I think I want to get two or three pieces of jewelry. I think I'm going to get an anklet. 
a bracelet and then a necklace so I'm gonna see I, I have my eyes on um, it's a heart anklet then there was the flower necklace and then there was a um, butterfly bracelet that I was looking at but we'll figure it out I'm gonna just kind of see what I do throughout the week because I don't want to spend all my money today I'm gonna kind of wait and sit on it but um, yeah so far we chilling we having fun we're just waiting for dinner time and then we're gonna dress up and yeah my experience has been really good it's really relaxed it's chill it doesn't even feel like we're on a boat it just feels like we're in a hotel but uh, I'm gonna have to call y'all back later because girl I'm trying to finish this drink all right I'm gonna call y'all back all right y'all so right now we're at dinner now we're not gonna stay at this dinner because we have our steak dinner planned but this is like a general dinner where everybody comes together and we eat and so we're with a bigger group so we're with them um but girl they started passing around they like you know we have three servers one of them talked to us and then after he kind of gave an introduction he started handing around the same drink menu where we just got drinks and i was it, we're we're definitely gonna be drinking y'all that drink was so good i might have to get another one right now i got the menu pulled up on my phone i might get a pina colada or maybe mango i wanted to try mango but i might get another strawberry but yeah so right now it's almost a little, it's a little shy of 8 30 it's a little past 8 20 so we're just gonna stay here probably eat a couple of appetizers drink a little bit i got some water it's my first bought water for a while all right wait i'm gonna have to call y'all back hold on all right y'all i'm back i ended up getting a pina colada but i'm gonna try to drink at least half of this before i get my pina colada take a shower and then probably go downstairs get something to eat real quick well not get something to eat but like we're like wait i want to just take a shower and then my next goal is to eat there is a place on the ship that has alcohol coffee and that's what i want but we, i just need to figure out who's serving food what well, we gotta go to get it and i'm gonna go everybody else is asleep i'm the only one up so i'm gonna just chill out here for a second and then after i'm gonna go take a shower and then just get ready to go whenever they're up we're uh, gonna reserve breakfast for somewhere. I really wanna get some spiked coffee. And I also wanna go back to the jewelry shop because I wanna individually assess each piece that I think that I want. Because something I have to keep in mind is that when it comes to jewelry, some jewelry snags, some jewelry is just not all that convenient or comfortable. So I really wanna look at it before I decide that I wanna buy it. Um, and then after that, I wanna go to the casino. So that's pretty much going to be the plan for this morning. I don't know what we're going to do later. We might go swimming. We might not. But I'm trying my best to not spend no money. So let's go ahead and let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm not naked. I have some clothes on. Right now, I'm with Bree. I'm not naked either. I have clothes on. We're, neither one of us is naked. Um. So our cards so were not... What in the hell? Oh, we got to go. We can... <laughs> y'all, we went on the elevator when we're trying to get to the lobby because our... So our cards aren't working. It's, it's okay. The same cards we use to like, you know, get in our room to get things pretty much. It's basically like a room key and a debit card all at the same time. Ours is not working and they stopped working together, but it's weird because we bought that drink yesterday. Y'all seen us with the drink. Mm -hmm. We got that drink. So now we're just trying to fix that and then we want to then after that we're gonna go get the spiked coffee and then we're going to Try to go get something to eat, something like that. So I'm finna take pictures in this mirror because it's right? cute. Because I'm so I'm gonna have to call y'all back. Okay, y'all. So we got our coffee. <laughs> now Bree says she tastes the whiskey. Well, the what is it? It's whiskey in it. Yeah. Okay. She says she tastes the whiskey, but for me, I, it just tastes like black coffee. It's just bitter like black coffee. So I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to drink it too fast. So we, we're about to go get breakfast and then we're just going to finish these drinks during breakfast. Okay, I'm going I'm to call y'all back when we die. <laughs> okay, y'all, I have a question. So Bree says she likes these uh, no, chocolate. No, I said they weren't bad. That's what I said. <laughs> she said she liked these. No, I said they weren't bad. I don't really like chocolate, but they're not horrible. They don't taste like ass, okay? Okay, 
But here's the problem. I feel like I'm not gonna trust somebody who eats raisins because y'all know raisins are disgusting. You have the taste buds of a child. You don't even eat your vegetables. First of all, I do eat my vegetables. What vegetables though? Broccoli. Uh -huh. That's the only thing you eat. You don't okay, like let me. Up. Or squash. I don't know who this woman is. <laughs> this is a stranger. Excuse me. <laughs> y'all so we're in the candy store obviously and i don't know if i want to get it oh actually brie got bean boozled and do i want to play no but i'm gonna play because i love her so yeah just for brie um i'm looking at some of the candy and stuff i want i only really like gummy Bart. candies <laughs> i'm stressed out because i i'm only doing Two it for her y'all I'm nervous, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna pick out some candy, but I'm not gonna get a lot because I don't want to spend too much. Look but onion. just some oh, onion. Oh, bandage. You know what? I love you. She 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 is so excited for this, and I am not thrilled. What's, what is it? Okay, so I don't know if it's a New England thing, but mm -hmm. poppycock is pretty much like popcorn with like caramel. And, like, I don't know different what flavors. Called. Well, that's what we call. It. Like, there, it's like an actual brand that's called like Poppycock. Oh, and that's what this is. Yeah, it's, it's okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah. This was it you? No, it was not me. <laughs> yeah, was it wasn't me. We just got crop dusted, y'all, but that's okay. <laughs> I seen it on her face. <laughs> I smelled it, and I was like. <laughs> Tried to hide it. I couldn't hide Very it. Nice. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Like, oh my I'm finna, we finna get our candy, y'all. We're gonna call y'all back. All right, y'all. So this is what I got. I got a bunch of gummy sour candy because I love gummy sour candy. And then Brie got these two things, which we're gonna do the bean boozle together. But she got some slimy stuff. Cause she likes sour. Stuff. Slime liquor. <laughs> slime liquor is that what that is? No, it's toxins waste. Oh, it's toxic waste, saying. but it says slime liquor squeeze. <laughs> just stuck a piece of mustard greens in my belly button and look at her well she think it's so funny is it funny <laughs> I didn't do it y'all can both kick these y'all right now we're at like the pool like areas different levels to it and we tried to go like to one of the higher levels i had a wave of dizziness and brought my ass right back over here i did not like how that felt it felt like you know when you take off on the airplane that feeling you get in your stomach that's what it felt like and i didn't like it so we came over here we feel great we just getting some sun that's all so we're gonna chill and then i'm gonna just talk to y'all when i feel like talking because Girl, I'm, I'm a little tired, just a little bit, but I'm, I'm gonna call y'all back. All right, y'all, so we are back in the room. Uh, I was feeling a little, not nece not necessarily seasick, but it's un I don't like the feeling of water swooshing and we moving and being outside by the pool. Just, eh. But I did take some pictures. Brie took some pictures for me. We was going through it, girl. But now we're back up in the room. I'm finna uh, eat some candy. I might take some more pictures on my tripod because I'm tired of disturbing Brie's peace, even if she says her peace is not disturbed. She's not even bothering me. Anyways. I'm finna eat this candy because I want something sweet. Do you have anything to say, Brie? Slime liquor. <sighs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> I took myself a little nap. Um, and now I put another patch on because, like, I'm starting to feel the motion of, like, the, the boat. Well, that is true. I'm technically starting to feel the motion of the ocean. I don't feel sick, though. I just don't <laughs> like feeling like I'm... I feel like I'm going like this, like I'm swaying. So I put another patch on. I took my old patch off and put another patch on. Uh, and you know, we're about to eat in like the next maybe like hour or so. So I'm just gonna, 
I'm going to get the surf and turf, y'all. I already know. I, I looked at the menu. I already know what I'm going to get. So, I'm just, when I'm going to go out, eat, and then, but I'm not going to bring y'all with me. I'm going to just go out, eat, and then probably talk to y'all when I get yeah, back. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to call y'all back probably sometime later tonight or sometime yeah. tomorrow morning. I can't make So we just came back to the room to change clothes. We're about to go back out now, kind of walk around, shop around. Um, after we had breakfast, we went to the casino. Then we went like out to the pool. They did some of the activities. Um, so I got myself a little drink. It is really, 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 really good. Shout out to Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo made this drink. Best drink I had on this cruise. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go out and turn up and have some fun. And I will definitely be calling y'all back later. So right now we're in like the serenity area me and fluff are on like these beach chairs i don't know if y'all can tell we're on these beach chairs they got like some little pods but most of them was taken so we just settled with the chairs but girl i'm feeling good i kind of want something to drink maybe some water or another one of them drinks i had earlier but i'm gonna just chill for right now y'all so we just made it to our first destination i believe we are in honduras right now um so we're probably going to get something to eat and then head over there So we're gonna go shopping. You are a beautiful woman. I mean, no, I meant like in the line. Y'all, wait. There's Bree, y'all. Hold on, let me angle it up so y'all can see both of us. So we're about to go shopping. Um, I need to put on my sunscreen. I didn't put nothing on. I, you know, I, I want to apologize to my future self for the amount of money I'm probably gonna spend here. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. So. I'm going to have to call y'all later. Okay, bye y'all. Y'all, these 
shoes are so cute. I'm trying to find some in my size that look like this. I think they go in the size in like 30, 31, like that. These are 39, so I think this is my size, but this is a 41. So I'm gonna try to find a 39 or a 40. Matter of fact, I'm gonna try these on and see how they do. Okay, I'm not gonna break my boot. All right, let's try these on. Okay. Wait, hold on, these might fit. These might fit. They a little loose, but they fit. Yo, this size is a 38. I don't think this one's gonna fit. Oh, hold on. Actually, it does. I'm getting these. So we just got back on the ship and I mean when I say just got back on I mean like less than 10 minutes ago or about 10 minutes ago um my hair started getting on my nerves y'all it got in the water I had fun though I had so much fun y'all um this was great the food was good we had some chicken tenders I had a little drink I got myself a little tan I don't know if you can tell but I got a little tan um a gentleman by the name of Scott, he swam me in the deep parts of the water because I do not know how to swim. Um, but that's when my hair got wet and then it's been bothering me. You know, I don't do well with like braids and stuff because it really itches. So I'm just going to sit out here for the next probably like 20, 25 minutes and just take my hair down. I had to use the scissors out of the um, medical kit. But I got some hair products at one of the shops. It was like a pharmacy shop. Um, I got some shampoo, some conditioner, um, and some hair gel. And I'm hoping that does something. I don't know, y'all. I just couldn't do it with the braids anymore. And I think the salt from the water, because that water was real salty, I think it eroded my beads. It made, they were shiny, and then they were not. <laughs> like, they got real sticky and tacky, so I just went ahead and said it's time to take these out. But I kind of knew I wasn't going to be able to finish the cruise with my braids, child, so... I'm out here just taking them out. But I'm going to take these out. And then I'm going to call y'all back once I'm, you know, dressed up and ready for dinner. Uh, that's in about... Oh, that's actually in a while. It's in about five hours. So I'm just going to chill and hang out here at the... um, at, In the room. So I'm going to call y'all back. Okay? Love y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm still in the room right now. I took a shower. I got dressed. Y'all can see my tan lines. So y'all see I got a tan. Brie got a tan too. Her tan is a little more intense than mine. No. Nonetheless, I think we got about the same, to be honest. Yeah. Wait, come over here. Let me okay. let me show y'all her tan. Okay. 
So y'all can see it kind of cut through her tattoo. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. But her bottom show more of a difference. Yeah. Y'all um, can't see that. Yeah, it's not y'all business. I can see you. You can see it. You, you, you can see it. I can see it, but y'all can't see it. Yeah. But I'm going to leave y'all up here for the night and just kind of go out and enjoy myself because I'm going to be honest with y'all. It can get draining trying to get content and enjoy myself. So tonight I'm choosing to really enjoy myself and not really focus on taking pictures or doing video. Don't look Bri at me. Bri literally just took a whole <laughs> bunch of pictures. I have like thousands of pictures in my phone and videos I have to go through. So it's like I really want to have a night to enjoy myself. And so I got to put myself first. I gotta, I gotta put, put me first. Don't put me first, Lucius. I gotta put me first, Lucius. Wow. So I love y'all, and I'm going to talk to y'all either tonight or tomorrow. Oh, what's up, y'all? So it is the next morning. Um, we are currently in Belize, but me and Bree are not gonna be getting off the boat. We're gonna stay on the boat, go to the adults only area, chill, get some drinks, make friends, talk. I think she's coming out the bathroom. Avoid people avoid people but let me tell y'all something brie ah. all these men they want them some brie they 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 want them a goddess they want my girl look i'm so happy ain't nobody talking to me because we are literally running from people on the boat having to escape people because they want her they want her y'all taking the stairs we had to like she just encountered somebody that like gave her weird vibes like you know what i'm saying there have been a lot of people complimenting her hair just complimenting her but then there's been some people that's been a little weird so we had to i had to like fake like she was sick and like we were yeah, coming uh, up we're sick all right sick of them yeah girl but yeah so we um we just came up here real quick um i have to go to the bathroom but i wanted to call y'all real quick and talk to y'all uh so yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today I'm more likely to like take y'all with me now, but we're not going to be doing much of anything. So I, I do want to go to the jewelry store later and then I'm going to show y'all like the jewelry that I got once I get what I get later. Um, It is my grandmother's birthday today. So I think that I want to get her grandma? something. Period. I think I'm going to get her something and I think I want to get my dad something. So we're going to see about it, but I'm going to call y'all back once we're outside. Hey you all so I'm outside right now. Uh, me and Bree came up here, we chilled because earlier it was too hot to even comfortably be outside. So right now we're in the room. My um, my mom and my brother just got back, so I think we're gonna go find something to eat. I don't wanna eat much because I really wanna wait uh, till dinner to like really, really eat, but we're gonna try to find something. Also, I did my hair, look at it. You think it's cute? What do you think it's cute? Okay, I'm gonna call y'all back, boyfriends. All right, y'all, so we're coming up on the next destination, but it is raining a lot. All of those gray spots are rain, and it's, like, scattered from there to here, but I don't. I think we're docking on the opposite side of the ship. Also, the friends on live. I just got on live to talk with them while I, w I, was, I was up when the moon was out, but then I just kind of chilled. Till the sun came out so probably within the next two hours we're gonna be out on the island all right y'all so i got my swimsuit on and i have like a little dress on with my fanny pack and house. she's been torturing me see now i need to speak my truth about her about miss brie hi everyone She's not nice. She's not sweet. She she wants to paint herself as a sweet, innocent woman. She's not. Anyways, y'all, we're going to go get breakfast, and then we're going to be going to uh, Cosimel. I think I pronounced that right. Cos oh, yeah. Cosimel. Cosimel, Mexico. Um, the, right now, the boat is not moving. It's docked. We got here probably about like 30, 45 minutes ago, but we're just getting ready to go eat. My mom and my brother have an excursion. Me and Bree don't have no excursion, so <laughs> no, we're we not doing it. We're just gonna chill on the beach. So we're gonna eat, come back up and get our bags, and then head out to Cosmo. All right, y'all, so we're just in the room trying to get a couple more things together, but we're about to head down, Uh, what is it called? To the, to the, where we leave out? Uh, on the, the port? No, I thought it was the gangway. I don't know. It's called something. <laughs> something like that. We're going there and then we're going to get out. And y'all, I'm going to try to vlog because I'm doing something for y'all, but I'm also doing something for TikTok. So I don't know how this is going to go, but we, we, we're going we're gonna to try to get it together. All right, y'all, we just got off the boat. And this is another carnival boat. This one is ours. I see a whole lot of stores. 
Uh oh, yo, we're fucked up. <laughs> it's a whole lot of stores. I'm gonna have to put y'all up because it's getting humid because it's raining, y'all. She got her poncho on. Sure do. She ain't playing no games. I got a hat on, so I'm good, but I'm gonna have to call y'all back later when it's not humid and when it's not raining. So we are walking to, we're going back to the store where I got this ring from. It's one little diamond missing. So I'm just going to tell them about it. The guy I talked to was cool. We'll probably just kind of look around at some more stores because we don't really know where to go from here. I think we have to take a taxi to go to a beach or something like that. We, we don't. see how much it costs. Yeah, we got to see how much it costs first. We don't know how much it costs. We don't really know where to go. So we're going to figure it out. But until then, we'll probably just kind of shop around and look around. Um, yeah, but we'll probably get a drink because we had breakfast already. Probably get a drink. Are you and hungry? Water. No, I'm oh. not hungry. You're never hungry. No, I can always eat. I'm just not. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call y'all back once we get to where we're going. Look, yeah, they got a cute little store, Lupita. And girl, oh my goodness, y'all. I've been spending so much money. I haven't even been here that long. Oh my goodness. She really hasn't. No, and it's sad, but and I also want this hat. I'm And by the way, if y'all seen that white line in my mouth and you didn't tell me nothing, you were so fake because I had that little white line. I'm all in folks' face. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. Don't do me like that. Mm. All right, y'all. So we are going back to the boat. 
Um, Brie has my bag. It is a very oh, <laughs> look. No, it's big and it's heavy. It's heavy, um, but it's not like unbearable. Yeah, it's not horrible. We're just gonna get something to eat on the ship. Brie's not really hungry, but I'm gonna get something to eat. Probably get a drink and go like sunbathe on the uh, yeah. 14th floor. And I'm gonna just sit my happy ass up there, cause girl, I spent so much money, y'all. <laughs> I spent so much money, money I shouldn't have spent, but it's okay because it was my spending money. So, but I'm gonna go set this up down in the room, relax, chill, kick my feet up. It's not even 12 o'clock, it's 11.40 a.m. I did not last nothing but like two hours. I think, y'all, I'm gonna call y'all back. Alright y'all, so it is our very last day on the boat. I just spent a lot of time out enjoying my time in the moment. Um, I got another tan. I'm really happy about that. Um, you know, ate some good food, drank some good drinks. Um, I did do some extreme shopping when i say extreme more than i should have in cozumel mexico yesterday um and i'm gonna show y'all the pieces that i got uh i'm not gonna get them out right now because i kind of packed everything up and i'm also gonna give y'all a very thorough and detailed review of my experience on the carnival vista you know so yeah i am so excited to like do that video uh, and if you are trying to go on a cruise, if it's your first time, I really recommend it. But I am going to also add some things that I recommend you bring or that you do to make your experience a whole lot better. But um, yeah, I'm not a carnival connoisseur. I don't know everything. I'm just talking to you person to person, almost like say you ran into somebody and y'all or just get to talking about something and they giving you like some kind of insight based off their experience see it like that you know what i'm saying i'm not a professional i can only tell you what i know based off my experience but i have a raffle that i have to get to in like the next 45 minutes so i'm kind of ready for that i'm just gonna chill and hang out and just enjoy my last day here and i'm gonna call y'all back later all right y'all we are back at the port that i want to say we started from yeah we are so there's one of the other carnival ships. We're just slowly docking. Um, once I go home, I'm going to unpack and then come back and let y'all know how my experience was. All right, y'all. So I'm here to give y'all like an overall review of the cruise, specifically like traveling with Carnival. Uh, but I also have a list of tips that I want to give you if you have never gone on a cruise and you want to go. My experience was amazing. Like. I felt like I was being catered to the entire time. The staff is really, really friendly. Uh, the people on the boat just want to socialize and talk. Um, and it was a great thing because I was able to talk to so many different people. Everybody was chill. Everybody was cool. Um, and the staff workers will memorize your name and call you by name, like for breakfast, for dinner, because they have, you know, those are the times where you eat meals that you don't have to pay for. Technically you pay for it when you pay for your cruise, but like you don't have to pay for it. You can get, I'm not gonna say you can get as much as you want, but you could definitely, that's, that's a tip that I have. Um, you can get multiple appetizers, multiple desserts, multiple entrees. I think you can get like two or three with no extra charge. I definitely think that's something you should take advantage of but like just during breakfast and dinner the staff workers will memorize your name and call you by name and i really really like that something that i really started to understand especially towards the end of the cruise is that a cruise ship is like a city on the water like there is so much stuff in there um it's like a mall a casino because they have little shopping centers you know there's multiple bars these different floors i mean depending on where you want to go what you want to do like there were there were parts of the boat that i didn't explore because i really wasn't interested in it but there's so many different things on that boat and then it's so much more once you know we dock and we go on the islands it's just so much so now i'm going to list off some of the tips that i have for y'all if you're interested in going on a cruise um first things first bring some comfortable walking shoes and also bring some shoes that have good grip you are going to be walking all over that boat and once you dock you're going to be walking all over these different islands and you want to make sure that you're comfortable because i tried to be cute and wear flip-flops and girl my feet was hurting not only that once you're on the boat um when you get to the area where there's like pools or like where it's wet look we were slipping and sliding 
you need shoes that are going to grip you to the ground so you do not possibly injure yourself. And now that we're talking about injuries, I need y'all to remember. Well, if you don't know, if you don't, if you have been on a cruise and you know this, then you know. But if you have never been on a cruise, let me make you aware that people do pass away on these cruises. There is a morgue. There is, you know, you know what I'm saying? So you really need to be careful because uh, I believe they said that somebody fell and passed away and the thing is i'm gonna say this them they have grips on the stairs but they have a, a, a on, on the carnival cruise ship on the one that we went on and i hated these stairs it was some curved uh stairs as it goes i did not like that because the stairs the each step would get wider at one end and skinnier on the other end and when you have all these people trying to go up and down and your feet are wet or your shoes are wet it's just it can really be a mess not just that but like even on our cruise there was a woman that fell this woman had just fallen and she had hit her head and it's very easy for you to hurt yourself so please make sure you have shoes with good grip and also please make sure you're being as safe as possible while you are having fun take advantage of the free food okay there is free food like scattered all over the ship we have barbecue there was pizza there was the burgers i think that there was some free tacos they had some places where like if you wanted to pay if you wanted something different you would have had to pay but like take advantage of their free food because when you want to cruise you want to turn up and you want to have fun i wanted to save my money to buy like souvenirs and like to buy things that i could if i was going to spend my money like i was buying a lot of drinks but that's my business don't worry about that uh but like i wanted to be able to take home a lot of stuff that i could keep so i wanted to save my money for that so really take advantage of that free food because there is no limit you can go back and get more and more and more if you wanted to hit all the, the free food spots and one day you couldn't if you wanted to do it if you wanted to keep going back and back you could do that you could do that until they close so really take advantage of that because i feel like oftentimes we be on a strict budget because you can easily spend a lot of money on a cruise so to just take away from spending so much money on food take advantage of that free food and like I said earlier, when it comes to breakfast and dinner, like the breakfast and the dinner that they have, they have these two different halls, one where breakfast was held and another where dinner was held. And you didn't have to pay if you didn't want to. Some stuff, if you wanted to get there, was like an extra fee, but it would say that. But for the most part, no, like you did not have to come out of pocket for that. Bring things from motion sickness. We had some chewable tablets. We had the ear patches and we had the C bands. Um, and put that that patch on. Put it on like before the boat starts moving. Because you know, I'm. I, it was a couple of times where that boat was rocking real bad, and a lot of people was getting seasick. Um, but a lot of people probably didn't prepare, or either it wasn't really working that well for them. Because I also feel like it was a matter of where you are on the boat. So my thing is, uh, something like my sister was on the second floor and it was hitting them real bad and I think which end of the ship that you're on also can add to you know feeling seasick um because I noticed that the the feeling of the boat moving got worse at the ends of the ship but in the middle it was pretty it was pretty you know sturdy and kind of stable uh you still kind of feel it but depending on where you are, it could be a little worse. So I really, really recommend you bring that stuff even if you think that you're not going to need it. And that leads me to my next tip. Try to get a room in the middle of the boat uh, because it is more comfortable. The boat will still rock, but it's not as uncomfortable as if you were like on the end, like on either end of the boat. Create a, a, a time schedule for yourself. It could be while you're on the boat. It could be while you're on the island. Because let me tell you something. When you're on the island, that boat is going to leave when they say it's going to leave. So you want to make sure that you're being responsible and you're keeping up with the time. Uh, sometimes the boat time and the time on your phone are two different times. So right now it's 8.59. But on the boat, and say we're out like you know on the island it could be 859 on my phone but it's really 959 on the boat and you have to like keep up with that boat time now there was an app uh it was called the uh, carnival hub and it would always say what the boat time was so i would just constantly go back to that app and make sure i was keeping up with it because i did not want to get left Make sure you bring a portable charger and a portable fan and have that fan charged before you even get on the boat because when you are in the process of getting on the boat, it is a very long process. It's a lot of long lines you're going to stand in and the building that we were in was, I don't think that there was like AC and if it was, it really wasn't hidden like it was supposed to. We stood outside for like 10 or 15 minutes and then went inside and we were standing in that line for like an hour or an hour and 30 minutes and it was hot. 
So make sure that you are bringing something to charge your phone. Also, make sure you're bringing a fan to stay cool. And make sure that you eat a good meal before you go and before, like, start your day off with a really good meal. Because you are going to be standing in that line, line excuse me, you're going to be standing in that line long enough to get hungry. Now. The cute cups on the cruise are really, 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 really cute and tempting to get. But if you're going to get it just because you like how it looks, that would be the best thing that you could do because those cups are small. Like behind all the decoration and behind like, you know, what, how it comes to you, it is a really small cup. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 and then you end up spending five, six, seven, eight more dollars for that one because it's a souvenir cup, but you're not really getting a lot of drink. You're just getting a cute cup with a, uh, a smaller cup on the inside of it, and it's not worth it. Since we're talking about cups, bring your own water bottle, okay? Bring your own water bottle because they have different like stations where you can get water and ice, but they have these small little plastic cups. And if you don't feel comfortable like drinking off of cups a bunch of other people drunk off of, and if you want a lot of water to carry with you, it would be best to just bring your own water bottle. Bring some dish soap because if you do end up getting like a really cute souvenir cup, you want to be able to wash it properly. So I really recommend you bring you some dish soap. Have a solid budget because like I said, it is very easy to spend a lot of money on a cruise. So make sure you have your spending money, the money that you won't spend, have your little bit of money in cash, have a little bit of money on the card. You know, do, do what works for you, but make sure you have a solid budget. Please get a fanny pack or a very comfortable backpack because you're going to be moving around a lot and you want to make sure that you have everything that you need on you. I really recommend that you bring your own medicines and your own stuff uh, because you don't really want to buy a lot of the stuff on the cruise because they are going to upcharge you. They are going to like sell it for a higher price because you're in the middle of the ocean and you can't go anywhere else to get it so you're going to have to buy it from them. Um, but if you can, if you do need something but you could wait a little bit, um, all of the islands tend to have like little pharmacy stores stores and you can get it there for a cheaper price. Also, mention that most of those islands, like the course that they're taking you to, are carnival owned. So the only difference, like you can get something for everywhere you go, but the only difference is the places that you're going to. Right. They're all actually the same thing. Now Mexico, I feel like... You're talking about board. those, uh, the little buildings we walk into? Yep. Okay, so... so well, we found out they were all carnival owned, so it's all the same stuff. It's they just, just off the want, boat. Yep, and if you okay. really want to see where you are, like see places and see yeah. monuments and stuff like that, you would have to pay, like as an excursion or like mm -hmm. anything is an excursion, like a tour, boat tour, yeah. or bus tour to actually see it. And some of them are worth it. Believe yeah. it's worth it. So, okay, so y'all, what my sister was talking about uh, was that when you get off the boat, when you are walking into, you know, the island that you're going to go to, you walk through a building. And basically, it's a bunch of alcohol in there. It's a bunch of souvenirs. And she was saying that those are carnival owned. So it's basically, you know, the same stuff just on the island. Now, past that, so when we were in Honduras, we walked through the building. I didn't get anything from in there. When we walked out, um, there was like a... It was almost, it went like this, and there were stores and little shops in the middle and stores and shops around the outside. There was a pharmacy there that I went, I had got some shampoo, conditioner, a toothbrush. Like, I went in there and got some stuff, and it was for a lesser price than what it would have been if I would have, like, got it shopping with Carnival or in the little, like, shop that's, you know, very near to, like, the, the port of where we had docked and stuff. Um, so, you really just have to be mindful of that and don't be too quick to buy something if it's possible that there are other places where you can go to purchase something. I really recommend that you bring your own toilet tissue and wipes. The toilet tissue like on Carnival was really really thin and I really did not like it. They say it's two ply but like it was thin, it was uncomfortable, like it would tear off when like like it would be pieces of it in my nether regions because it would tear so easily um so i really recommend bringing your own toilet tissue and make sure you bring some wipes because none of us thought to bring any wipes and we ended up having to take showers after we like did number two because the toilet tissue was not like thorough enough to clean everything so we ended up taking like more showers than we really wanted to solely because like we didn't really feel fully clean after wiping with you know carnival's toilet tissue washing clothes there bring your own detergent because i'm going through some clothes back there that i used what they provided which is cheap but it's a mm -hmm. nice size you probably have to buy like two of them mm -hmm. there if you're going to do a large load but because mm -hmm. it's powder that they provided 
I oh. think the liquor was a little bit more. It can like stain the clothes in a way, like the powder. Not on this, but I had something else where the powder kind of just like stained it. Yeah. And you can get it out, like you can rinse it when you come home. Or just have like a um, a dirty clothes bag. Mm -hmm. Or if you're going to wash clothes there, something I would have probably done was to have like a collapsible hamper. Yeah. So I could bring it back and back forth. Back and forth. Yeah. And just have That's convenient. Detergent. Even if it's just a little bit. Not yeah. They sell it in stores, but of course you pay more. Mm -hmm. So that would be that would be something I would do next time. I'd probably like buy some pods ahead of time. Yeah. And, and have just, it. Yep. And that's another thing, like they do have like washers and drawers, I believe on each floor. And it's convenient because I'm going to be honest with y'all. It ain't nothing wrong with repeating an outfit, especially because you want to be very mindful of how much you pack when you're going on a cruise. And that's another thing. Um, you have to carry a lot of this stuff on and off. So you want to be mindful of how like many items of clothing that you're bringing. But also, if you want to buy souvenirs, you need to have space in your luggage to carry all this stuff back. So if you got to repeat, um, you know, a couple of outfits, ain't nothing wrong with that because it is washers and dryers on that cruise ship. If you want a nice tan, I really recommend you bring clothing or swimsuits consistent with the tan that you want. Because I wanted a tan and the first, when we were in Honduras, like I got my first tan. And I was trying to tan at other times and I did end up tanning like yesterday, the very last day. But the, the swimsuit that I had on was not similar with the swimsuit I had on when I first tanned. So now it's like... I look like I look like a racetrack like I, it's these different little random tan line you know what I'm saying it just looks weird and so if you are really particular about that then make sure that you're bringing like you know items of clothing that are really similar if you're trying to get a certain kind of tan or like a really consistent tan now some people might not want to do this and I completely understand but if you are a first-time cruiser or like you're still trying to figure out like tips and tricks socialize talk to people you have people that this is their 40th cruise this is their 30th cruise this is their 27th cruise this is their 15th cruise and they can tell you some stuff they can tell you how to save money sometimes like they'll be willing to help you out they'll be willing to get you some stuff they'll be willing to put you on to people that like book their cruises you should talk to people a lot of the people are really cool a lot of them are really friendly like people just be down to have conversations because everybody is in good spirits they're vacationing they're out and about in their happy and you have people that are going to be willing to tell you some tips and tricks that might really help you down the line for your next cruises but overall i really enjoyed myself i am now planning my cruise for next year if i could cruise twice a year i would absolutely do it and now i'm a lot more prepared for what comes with that but i really want to see the world y'all like i told y'all i really want to travel i want to get out there and i'm definitely going to be taking y'all with me while i'm doing that so i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video um and i hope that i can like give y'all content in the future that y'all really do enjoy because that's always the goal that's really what that's what i want to do that's what i want to provide for y'all so um if y'all have any recommendations if y'all want me to try something whether it's with a carnival line or another cruise line please let me know because i am open to exploring in ways that i haven't before but thank y'all for tuning in i love y'all and i'm gonna talk to y'all in the next video boy besties hey, hey, i hope you did not think i forgot did you think i forgot i did not <laughs>